Images can now have a resolution and a dynamic range that surpass those of a display device or a wide panoramic field of view that prohibits displaying the full image without distortion. Images such as this 4 gigapixel panorama can be captured and assembled from multiple photographs. We present a new hardware and software methodology for capturing and constructing such images. Just as importantly, we demonstrate a new viewer that allows the user to explore very high resolution, high dynamic range, and or very wide angle imagery in a more natural and informative way. To capture very large images, we began with a Mead motor-driven telescope mount. We built a custom rig to hold a digital SLR with a long lens. Control software carefully steps the mount along the columns and rows of the panorama, while a camera control code triggers the camera to shoot each direction. Images are shot in auto-exposure mode to adapt to varying intensities across the panorama. The raw image data is demosaic then vignetting is removed based on earlier camera calibration. This result is then white balanced. Normalizing the recorded exposures produces a high dynamic range across the panorama. To align the images, first feature points are found in each image. Then matches are established between feature points on neighboring images. Finally, the images are brought into alignment based on the feature point matches. The image values are resampled into a cylindrical or spherical coordinate system, and a graph cut process selects the most invisible seams between neighboring images. This results in a single, consistent, very high resolution, high dynamic range image. The result is saved as a multi resolution pyramid of 256 by 256 pixel tiles. The image data can then be accessed as needed across a network, as shown in all our demos. Given that the pixel resolution of a typical screen is only one one-thousandth of that of the image, a viewer that affords the ability to explore the image is needed. QuickTime VR is a common application for viewing panoramic imagery. It uses a perspective projection, which looks good for narrow viewing angles, since panning is equivalent to turning your head in a scene. However, it becomes quite distorted as the field of view increases, and in fact hits a singularity at 180 degrees. Cylindrical or spherical projections allow you to see the entire field of view. However, straight lines appear curved even at smaller fields of view. Our viewer provides the best of both projections by smoothly transitioning between perspective and curved projections. The most obvious ways of blending between perspective and cylindrical projections do not produce a smooth blend, as is evident here when we interpolate angles, and here when we interpolate curves. Our viewer behaves well since, by construction, we maintain a constant expansion velocity in the center of the screen. In addition to smoothly changing projections, the viewer also subtly modifies the tone mapping on the fly. As one zooms into dark regions, the area lightens, and vice versa for bright regions. At the same time, in areas with low contrast, we stretch the histogram to help resolve detail. Haze is a common cause of low contrast in distant regions. Expanding the histogram around the haze color effectively removes haze on the fly. The dynamic tone mapping is almost invisible to the user. However, the benefits become quite obvious when we switch it on and off, as you see here. Dynamic haze removal is preferable to performing an a priori overall haze removal, since the haze provides good depth cues when viewing the full panorama. We can also mark points of interest so the user can simply fly directly to them. The virtual camera automatically zooms out and in and pans to find the location. Very high resolution images act almost as a new media type, having some qualities of a photograph as well as some of the dynamic aspects of a video, as one explores and discovers the endless details of nature and human activity that take place even within a single view of the world.